the center of gravity is moving, as Vishaka has been talking about, toward Asia. But it's, much of it is because the money is moving toward Asia. And so it's going to be increasingly important that people know this. So as we're all looking at the role models of the future, I think they are going to be role models who know what they want to do with power, and they know what they want to do with money, because it will change the world around them. Being connected with your communities is very important, which is something we talked about earlier, public-private partnerships, ways in which all of us make our communities a better place is going to be important for every leader in Asia, but also in the other parts of the world. Mm. And we have uh, uh, lots of people coming through the ranks. We were talking about this morning, we have a lead program for the top 350, 400 people in our 9,000 person organization that is right below the most senior levels. And even at that point, we still have 55, 45 women. But what concerns us is we have the same problem that's been articulated already. At that next level or two, the numbers change materially. And what we're trying to figure out, and I don't have the answer, it's the question we pose, is there something that breaks down in the process? Has the meritocracy come off the rails at the senior level? Is there something visible or invisible, conscious or subconscious, that changes for these very, very senior roles? Because up to that point, our, our talent machine does a fantastic job of lifting people up, right person, right job. And that's the part that we're struggling with. Um, <clears throat> we have the same problem everybody else does, but we have great success up to that point. So the we think- pan, The marzipan layer that the, you The famous it? marzipan layer I learned <laughs> about this morning. So we seem to be <clears throat> on the right road in general, but we have the same problem everybody else does at the very top. And, and thanks for that, Michael. And Shelley, you had mentioned, and, and this is true for most organizations, up until the mid-level ranks, it's 50-50. There's as many women as there are men. Mm -hmm. What happens after that? Is it that women are just not aggressive enough about us? And I do believe that if you have the basic premise of uh, meritocracy and that people are simply judged based on what their contribution is, that you will have women leaders. Uh, I, I always say, we don't need remedial programs. You know, we, we don't need special treatment. We don't need people to help us. Uh, all we need, actually, and I can live to tell the tale, is an even playing field where people are judged based on what they can do. And, and then I believe you get success. Now, how you get to that point everywhere is, is the topic for conversation. Mm -hmm.